Hey y'all, it's another Tuesday Talks for our beers. In the past on these videos, we talked about tips and tricks and gadgets and cool little things for RV life. Well, this is a tip and a trick. It is, but these are going to be kind of like reno ideas that are small, easy, like, duh, why didn't I think of that? So, uh. we don't have the best before pictures because somebody got a little over anxious. She's been wanting to do this ever since we got this RV. So once I got the stuff to do it, I just jumped in and started doing it. So we have a couple of I clips. said, hold on, hold on. We didn't fit it, video anything at all. But not everything so i've seen in a lot of rvs and even in people's homes where they have on their pantry door a section of it that has like the chalkboard paint so you know you can write welcome or you can write we need milk or you could write whatever you wanted to on you've it. got mail and then you can wipe it off and start over so i have wanted to do that um in the new fusion however well we have a pantry door which that's exciting but it has the different panels and so it didn't have the big rectangular spot to do that with so, we went to demolition. Because I was pretty sure the little strip... Pretty sure. The that, little strip that created the panel... So, pretty sure means what happens if. Probably was just glued on. So, there is a chance that when you start pulling that off, it's not just glued on and you're going to have to glue it back or, or whatever that might look like. But I was lucky and it was just glued on. And so, I pulled it off and started painting so what are you doing now <laughs> did we make a mistake well i sanded first which is what i was told you we needed to do but everything i've done with this paper-ish woodwork i've had to wipe with alcohol even just to get like command strips to stick so probably should have washed it off real good with alcohol because I started putting the paint on, it wasn't sticking. So I'll get this paint off, I'm gonna wipe it with alcohol and then I'm gonna sand it again. But at least I got some sand in these spots where the stickers pulled off, so. So here's your Tuesday tip first. Make sure you clean very well before you try to apply the paint. Especially since it's not really wood. Not wood, this whole camper's made of wood. It's wood with paper on it to look like this. So now I'll wait till tomorrow for all this to be dry before I can put paint back on it. But I'm going to give it a good sanding again now. So you're not waiting for day two? We're going to give it a whirl. It's alcohol. It should be dry, right? I'm just going to do the center piece where the sticker ripped off and then around the edges. And then tomorrow, put a coat on the whole thing, just so that hopefully you won't see that lip there. Is it sticking? Yep. I'm going to cut it in. And then tomorrow I'll probably cut it in again so the edges get nice and done. And that piece gets nice and done. And then we're going to roll the whole thing. Now we're going to read directions? So see how long it draws. At least two coats must be applied to create a chalkboard finish. I think we should have read that before we started. I mean, I knew it would take at least two coats because look how late that is. And it's black. Hmm.
I wanted to do this before I did this, but I couldn't find what I needed to do it. What are you doing? I'm not going to tell you what I'm doing, but we're going to try it and see how it works out. And if it works as well as I think it's going to, then I'll tell you all about it. If it doesn't work, we're cutting it out. That's right. Bonus, I found magnetic paint, which is a little pricey. I'm going to tell you what, that stuff's pretty dang on heavy, too. And a little quart can is so heavy. But anyway, so we got that, got it on the underside, got a few coats of black chalkboard paint on our pantry door. So now I can write cute little notes or a grocery list or whatever I want to do. You can always put a heart on there for me. And I'm so excited Gosh. about it. She just blew that away. <laughs> I might just write I love you on it and leave it to say that. But anyway, you can write whatever you want, whatever makes you happy. And I think it turned out pretty good. We're going to do some more renos to it. But for now, I just wanted to see, wanted you to see how the first steps turned out. So was out. it real easy? It really was easy. My only complaint, and I'm pretty sure it's <clears throat> me, not a fan of painter's tape and every time i use it it never works the way i think it should and i always end up having to go so what is she doing wrong it. you guys gotta let us know because she, she says i'm not buying this anymore not buying this more and all of a sudden here we are with painter's tape again well i will say and you all can correct me if i'm wrong i had a friend once tell me who paints painter's tape is for people that don't paint that's me. all you need is a steady hand and just go down the edge because at the end of the day it's going to create less of a mess and less things that you have to fix I'm going back to that mode of thinking because I do better just freehanding it than I did with the tape. So all I did was spend money and spend time putting the tape on there. And then when I pulled it off, well, you'll see. So how did it do? I'm going to be honest. I'm not excited. I feel like I could have cut it in by hand without spending the money or the time or the energy that I spent on tape. So I'm going to finish getting the tape off and touch up the edges. If you know a better way to do it, please let me know. So if you're enjoying these Tuesday Talks for RVers, make sure you subscribe. Click that bell. Because you don't want to miss the next video of a handy tip, trick, or reno idea we have a lot more coming if you have suggestions of things you think we should try or things you want to try and we can give it a try first drop it below so that we can check those out and check out our finished product so done with that. And until next time you find us camping or renovating or tearing something apart we're always tearing something apart safe travels y'all <laughs>